everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to work on this wonderful, fabulous bunny. I made this with scrap paper and craft paper, um, but like I always said, you can use any material that you have at home. This is super easy to make. I have actually two examples. I made this one with the craft paper, like I said, and I made this one just painting the background with acrylic paint. Um, for this project, what you're going to need is any kind of paper. So I have a white piece of paper. I have some craft construction paper. I have craft paper. You are going to need a marker, an eraser just in case, a pencil, but I'm gonna use a color pencil. Something round to trace. It could be a top or any cup, anything round that you have. You're definitely going to need some glue. You're going to need some scissors. And some containers or plates where you can put all your um, little craft paper. Okay, so I have already like my base paper. I want to work with the yellow paper. And before we start gluing or putting anything, we are going to draw the bunny silhouette. So we're going to start by making a circle very gently. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. Then we're going to bring this line down to have like part of a body. And we're going to make the ears of the bunny. It doesn't look much like a bunny right now, but it will when we start putting all our little papers. So you're going to get some of your craft paper and we're going to cut it in little squares. Oh, I can actually put it on the other one that I have my peach color. I like to put, I have different containers so I can put different colors. So I'm going to get this one and I'm going to cut it in a couple strips. Okay. And then I'm going to start cutting them out like squares. So you can get both of them and cut them in squares. And you will do that to all of your craft paper. After you cut out all your scrap paper into squares, the secret to, for this is to glue it in a circle. So you're actually going to glue it within the shape. So I'm going to add some glue. I'm not gonna do the whole thing yet because then the, the glue will start drying. So I'm gonna start with my edges. And I wanna glue everything within circles. Since we already glue everything in a circular motion to give it more like a furry look, what we're going to do is we're going to continue gluing the body and we're going to do it, it, it doesn't matter, you can just make them more organized over here and the same thing with the ears. So let's continue doing that. And remember to always put a little bit of glue, not everything at once, so that way your project is still clean it keeps itself clean and also you will save like glue, you save time.
After you are done putting all the papers around the bunny, the next step is very easy. We're going to put this on the side to dry. And we're going to get another color paper. I'm going to use white, but you can use whatever color you want. And I am going to get a circular shape. I got it the Gatorade top, but you can get whatever you have at home. Or if you can make a circle without any like guide, then you can do it too. So I'm going to go on the top so I won't waste so much paper. And I'm going to trace the circle with my pencil two times. One and two. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make an oval. Okay, and with my Sharpie, I'm going to design some eyes. So I am going to make an eye over here, and I'm going to leave a white space. So it will look like a very glossy eye, and I'm going to make the same thing on the other circle. On this circle, I'm going to start by making the nose. I can fill it in. If you want to have it glossy, just leave a little bit of white so it looks glossy. Then I'm going to make the letter W. There you go. And I'm going to bring those teeth down and I'm going to make some holes where the whiskers would go. I'm going to have the shapes that I already made. I'm going to cut them. for eyes and the mouth of the bunny. So now the good thing about tracing this on the edge is if you cut this, then you have nice paper for another activity. So I can always save the scraps for another project. So now I have two of these. Put the trash on the side and let's put this to save it for later. I'm going to bring back my activity. And then what you're going to do is before you glue it, you want to place everything to see how it will look. So I like to put my eyes here on the side because I think that gives it like a funny personality. But if you want to put them close, it also looks cute like that. If you want to make a crazy eyes, you can make crazy eyes. So you just want to place them before you glue them. So I'm going, I like it like this, okay? So I'm going to glue it just by adding a little bit of glue. And there we have it. We have a very cute bunny. It could work for Easter bunny as well. Now, what I want to do is we want to add the whiskers. And we're just making a couple lines. And I know girls love to drop eyelashes on everything, so I'm going to make this into a girl bunny and I'm just going to give it some eyelashes on this side and some over on this side. If you want to get more creative and you want to add a bow or a hat, whatever you want to do, you can do it like I did on this other project. I add like a bow and a heart. I add like a pink nose. You can make it as creative as you want. 
and I am very happy that I got to do this project with you and I can't wait to see all those beautiful pictures of your own projects so just remember that you are going to do it your parents are not going to do it they can help you but they won't do it for you because they want you to learn and become great artists in the future so I'll see you guys next class bye